turn left here. It's right up in the middle. He's coming to the last chance to stop before off ramp. What does that mean? Take this in. Take this in. First round. First round. Welcome to off ramp. Hey, old woman. I got the bread in a bucket. I like some brie in a bucket. I got some brie in a bucket. I never have like French cheese. We don't like French cheese. No. What have you got against French cheese? French cheese broke up my marriage. Oh yeah, I forgot. If I told you the story of how French cheese broke up my marriage. <laughs> No, I don't care if I hear that story again. Don't care to. Brings a tear to me on. It was back in... <laughs> 19... <laughs> <laughs> Bliss was it in that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. I, I, you know... He's not gonna... Well, he's, it's good, though. I could do it again. I think it's good. It, I think it's really, really good. Would you like an accent? It's I could do accents. For, I think even without an accent, it's good. It would be good for Thanksgiving. Do something else. Okay. It wasn't the worst. No, it was good. Oh, y- you mean you really... Oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. It was, you think so? It was good. Fine. It was really. Should I do it again? I don't know how you come up with that stuff. I do. I, I can. Da- mm-hmm. I can dance with it. No. I can do a little I number like know. a soft shoe. No. Like a tap. We've I got have tap. To... There are well, that, not actual several... taps, but that's. Uh... Well, um, I, I brought Didn't a song. We talked to him last week. You've you've been here before, yes? Yeah. We've got your number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I came last okay. week. Um, did we ask I you to come he... back this week? No, but my I I thought my phone might have been disconnected oh, so when I was thought, home. He oh, thought we oh, might have called him and yes, missed the exactly. call. Thought, Easy yeah. to understand. Sure. Yes. We might, we might no, not let have. Me, let me tell you this. If we call you, we'll make sure that we talk to you. So, in other words, if we want you right. to come back... A, a phone right. out of order will not stop You'll it. hear us tell you, we but, want you to come back. Okay, would that be tomorrow? You'll hear us say it if, if we want you to come back. Thank you for oh, coming. I... If if we want you to come back, so you, you'll hear us ask you back, and that'll be tomorrow. Um. So your phone isn't working. Mm-hmm. Here's what we'll it do. is. But if we need you, yes, we'll have a messenger come, come to your door, to your door, to your apartment. What time would that be? Because I I have to go tomorrow. Uh, take my grandmother to you, the hairdressers. You, know, you go ahead and do all uh-huh. of your errands because yep. our messenger works around the clock. And if they miss you on the first delivery, uh-huh. they keep returning until you I, sign for it. I don't want to miss the That's first right. rehearsal, though. You That's won't. That's fine. No. You we'll make sure we we would hold it if that were the case. Right. You would for me. So if we wanted I you, we really, would hold that for you. Wow, I must have really impressed so you. So my best advice wow. to you is go home. Thank you. Take your grandmother to the what uh-huh. is it? The dry cleaners. No, well, we're gonna stop on the drug cleaners first. That's and fine. Then we'll take you there. And so yeah, do your thing. Oh, and right. Do okay. your thing. Go and about. Go about don't your business. Pay us no attention whatsoever. N- no, never mind. That's it. So, oh, yeah. thanks again for coming down. And I thank have you. the Hamlet soliloquy. Next. Bye. Thanks again, Bobby. It's good to see you, Bobby. Yeah. Say hi to your mom. Well, thank you, grandmother. Say hi to your grandmother. Yeah. Okay. I found another. Another human being uh, Similar facsimile to you Even female Junior, wake up. Junior, get up. Junior, wake up. Wait, he's not asleep. He's transfixed in a state of spiritual superlativity. He's transduced. He's utilitarian. He's worked his way past the merely mundane and into the realm of spiritual... Hey, <gasps> Listen, he speaks to you. us. Don't touch him. I see you. What do you see, Junior? I see a world... Which world? Filled with pain oh. and misery. To this world, Junior, what are you talking about? What world? Misunderstanding. Talking about Ellie Mae? Are you oh. prognosticating? See a wonderful afternoon... Filled with riches beyond imagination. That was last week when we played bingo, remember? And I know you have very few pairs of clean underwear left. 
correct. Holy moly. Junior. Junior. Junior, wait. Junior. Oh, we've lost him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. He was prognosticating that he might have been prevaricating. Junior, Junior. wake up and tell Junior. us some more. <laughs> Junior. I was having the best dream. What were you dreaming, Junior? Why would you wake me up? A world of pain, you said. Cheese, fries, and a riches. chili dog. Who's going to die? Chili spoke about dog. riches. Oh, mercy. Double wide, double hots. Double wide, double hots? Mm-hmm. What is it? I've never heard of that. That's the side-by-side chili dog special on down at the Tony Dog place right now. Say, I was told you could help me. Nah. Well, I must have come to the wrong yeah, place. I'm just then. kidding. Oh, well then. We don't do that kind of service here. Close the door. I, Close I, the door. No problem. You, um. <clears throat> can, is it safe? Can I talk now? You can talk yeah. now. I need to disappear. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I need. We don't do magic here. Disappear. Appear, yes, out of my life. I just, I need to disappear. You need now. a puff of smoke or any sort of. This is like stuff. David Copperfield. No. That's what you're saying. There the, is like no the Statue of Liberty. What about that guy that can levitate? Nothing up, like that. Wow. Up, up, up. I need no I need strength. Disappear. Not really disappear. You want? Do you, do, I, I, do you understand? I think right. I understand. All right. I just need to. We have a guy who knows a guy. He could help you. I think. If you want to disappear, yeah, I do. I, I mean, if you really, really, are there, want I to don't disappear. really want to disappear. I want it to look like I disappeared, or at um, least Bruno's, that I. Bruno's not the guy. I want no. it, I want, want it. everybody else to think I disappeared. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. What? But without any questions asked. You oh, can, you. You're need, free to go. Yeah, at any time. I mean, with you, it's I nice that you came in, but out of town, out of this whole, out of my. Out of my life, out of my job, out of my family. I need to disappear. You need to disappear. He right. needs to disappear. It That's is what it, he's been trying to it's say. It's not right? Bruno that he no. needs to No, it's not Bruno. I need to live. I need to disappear but be yeah, alive yeah, 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 and yeah. start over. Are there dependencies you need to erase? I, can't, I don't want to answer any questions. I just want to disappear. I just no. want to know what we're dealing with, you know, because... That's none of your business. Tell us why you don't want to answer any questions. That's none of your business. Oh, but you want to disappear. Yes, I was told if I came here, you would help me disappear. But you don't really want to go anywhere. I do want to go somewhere. I want to go anywhere but here. I want out of here. I want out of my life. I want out of my family, out of my job. I even want out of my clothes. You're having a hard time. No, I'm not having a hard time. I would appreciate it if you'd stay dressed during this procedure. I'm yeah, that's going to have sure, to be. I, we're going to have to yeah, assist. No, on that. I, I would. Yeah. I realize how that sounded. I don't mean I want to disrobe. I mean I want a whole new me once I reappear. You want a whole new me? Yes. Huh? Look, this. Look. Do, do you this. mind if you if you're found in pieces? No, I. D- you don't mind. I, 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 we I can do, arrange it. I can only say this one more time. What? I want to get out of here. Alive. He wants a taxi. Listen, friend, people don't just up and disappear. Unless we help them, of course. Unless they come to us. Sure. That's why I'm So, here. if you want to disappear, but you don't want smoke, you don't want flames, you don't want pieces of body, I think we can help you. We can help him. Sure. I mean, we're the guys. We're the guys to come to. I need to disappear. Here's what you do. It, uh, he's gone. It he, worked. He's dead. But he's still here. Shoot. That wasn't what he wanted at all. Not at all. We did this all wrong. We should have called Vinny. Vinny. He's the one. Hello, I'm here to promote a free flow of information. We're willing to answer any and all of your questions, concerns, objections, and... What about broken promises? Broken promises? We can answer them. 
uh, just as we would a wrong number on a telephone. Well, um, Pre- I'd like to know a little bit about insulation. Oh, now you're talking. Wall stuffing. Well, let me just... It seems to me that nowadays they're using this fancy spun glass. Well, we, uh, we did yep. used to use the cornbread. Cornbread was good. It smelled fine for a while. Yes, it did on a hot summer day. Until we discovered... Yep. Wall mold. Wall mold. Had a terrible case of it myself. Hmm. Many people, uh, if they can't eat all of their wall insulation, will find that they will have uh, mall. mall. I don't go to the mall. Thank you. There's a question in the back, I see. What can you tell me about dogs? What would you like to know, sir? Delicious. Okay. I have a question. Next. Others. Others. There are other people here. I'd like to know a little bit about shoe trees. Well, shoes do not actually grow on trees. Why do they call them shoe trees? Well, it's a misconception. It's a mispronunciation. It's a misspeaking, you might say. But shoe tree. It's more of a bush. Jeremy Shoe Tree is my name. I have a question about yes. yachting, and how big does the boat have to be before it becomes a yacht? This is the free flow of information. We're here to provide the free flow of next. Yes, you sir, or madam. I have a question of a personal nature. Yes, please, do not be afraid to ask us any question that you might require information regarding... Are you with child? Currently. I am not currently with child. You are barren? It's interesting you should call me barren, because before this episode, that's what I was... I did not admit that in public. I talked about this. I know, but listen, the lady, she asked me if I was barren. I think she knows. I, I think so she knows. She is our contact. Daquiris here. <laughs> daquiris? I'm looking for them. Who's magic? Daquiri would be lovely this time. Mm-hmm. Well, I like daquiris of the oh, evening. Oh, the hounds. Um, I find that it sharpens my appetite and my powers of observation. Mm. Yes. Mm. I observe you somewhat behind in your bills. If I am seeing well, ink on yeah. the well, sleeves you could of say, your well, I, cuffs... Accurately, if I'm reading it upside down, I think I am. Yes. Well, oh, there's a simple solution for that. I think you'll need a little more business, that's it. Business. Business. Business has been poor. Yes, oh, very, very poor. Business very poor. Falling off a lot. The poor. Well, I think we'll get you a little... Ad- here, this man right here looks like he needs a place to stay. Come, step, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Step right up. Step, look, he's, he's, a, he's a veritable synambulist. He's ready to go straight to bed. Oh, I have a nice room for you. I'd like to find a nice room. You will find a sleeping situation here. I will find a sleeping situation here. You will be willing to pay anything to come back here at least once a fortnight. I feel so comfortable here. I'm going to take off my shoes. And get him into the bedroom and out of the parlor, <laughs> Please, this could be Quite embarrassing. This Into the bedroom, sir, yes. Get his, Make yourself oh. get his purse. Ah, oh, yes, oh. I'll just take that. I've been aching for a nice, soft bed for lo, these 13 days. The feeling is exquisite. Mutual, I'm sure. To keep you so warm. I'm so warm. You will be so relaxed. I'm ever so relaxed. Here's my money. Yes. And that's the way it's done, chap. I feel richer already. Thank you. Oh, it's my tremendous pleasure, I'm sure. I call, I think I call, call, call. I'm in the next room and everything. I have a knock on the name and I've never found it. There's nothing I can ever find. Can't find it. You can go anywhere you like. Anywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Doesn't matter who you are. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Not much call for that round here. Working, working this time of year, we've been looking for 
a sign in the sky. Yeah. Hoping. Yeah. Red's Been hoping. Hoping. Yeah. Hoping that we could turn around. Yeah. This drought. Yeah. Well then. Waiting for some likely looking clouds. Yeah. What about that one there? It's about a funny looking cloud. Yeah. Now I can finally tell you both what I actually think of you. Come a little closer. Yes. yes. What, well, what is it? I know it's unusual for the reading of the will to occur while I'm still alive. It's unusual for you to be living. Well, I'm trying to say to all of you. I get can, on with it, old man. Well, none of you are actually my progeny. None of I you. I always hope. But in fact. I do have some offspring, and I'm going to lie. <laughs> Tell us. Carry on, carry on. We must know about your offspring, your progeny. Slap him on the back. He's gone. You mean dead? No, he's gone. He went on for pizza. What is progeny, anyway? Somebody that's very good at the violin. (sighs) This paid for political commercial brought to you by Citizens for a Clearer Vision. Citizens, have you wanted a clearer vision? Would you value more direct and insistent thought? Pounding like rain on your brain in the spring monsoon. Bouncing like hail off the tin roof of your cranium. Is that a yes? Come to plead my case in the court of public opinion. All rise. Sit you down. Sit you down. Sit you down. All sit. We are gathered here today to watch me judge you people. And I should say that I have not had a good night's sleep. I should say that I don't really feel good. This wig is itchy. But be that as it may, my job is to judge you. In the court of public opinion. Indeed. Now, Bailiff, who is first on my docket? First, we have the case of the public versus the man with the very loud summer jacket. Uh, I see. Ah, uh, and who would... Oh, yes, of course. All right, let's get started. You see, I presume, are the man with the very loud summer jacket. Yes, and I presume you are the magistrate of the old Bailey... Wick. I am the judge, indeed, and I shall judge you. Fine. I might fine you, Have but I will it. definitely judge you. Do your best. Now, the jacket in question seems to have uh, bothered many people enough to bring this civil suit to case. I stand by it to the end. You Are, are you actually standing in the jacket that you uh, were wearing at the time? I'm standing by it. It's standing on its I own over here. I see. The court it, recognizes Exhibit A. Let the records show that this jacket is not only brightly colored, but it has a certain olfactory quality that might make it seem actually brighter than it is. All well and good. All well and good. Banana oil? What is this? Explain this jacket to me. Quickly, quickly! This is tropical fruit oil. It is a preservative which, in fact, repels moths and other insecticides. I see. So you're claiming that you were wearing this jacket in order to repel other moths moths and other insects. Is that your claim? Walking down the city street, wearing this bright 
banana-colored jacket? Insecticides. How do you explain the banana pants? Those were my own addition. I see. When I heard that a man with banana pants and a brightly colored, highly sequined, rather electric, somewhat smelly jacket was going to be in my court this morning, I said, I gotta get up to see this. And now that I see it, I'm thinking, I may have made a mistake. My lord, you did. The, yes. the smell you are, in fact, experiencing is from the pants, not the jacket. Ah. It's the banana peels... Stitched together some weeks ago. The court recognizes Exhibit B. Well, it's... I see here on my docket that nowhere are these pants mentioned, so perhaps I was in error in bringing them to the court's attention. The court will ignore any oh. further mention of these banana pants as regards to this case. That is a great relief to me. You, sir, are not yet in contempt of my court. I, in fact... But if you decide to go for it... I will see you again. If not, you may take your suit, consider your case dismissed, and why don't you just get some sort of commercial bug spray and use that rather than this? This thing is... This I am, an, in fact, an advocate of natural alternatives for harmful insecticides and, as evidence, as to your accounting of my actual clothing itself... And describing it for everyone listening, which I find a slanted point of view, I would like to present the following 17 volumes of case law describing there is no accounting for taste. Court recognizes exhibits C, D, E, F, G, H, etc. I've never been to one of these festivals before, you. Yep. Really? They're always this kind of, I don't know, crowded. Yep. I was hoping I'd get some kind of food or something. Think they'll have something like that? see too good. Never have been, you know, tall enough for one of these things that I need to bring an apple box or something. Guess you can see all right, though. Sure can. I was thinking, um, Getting one of them temporary tattoos, you know what they do? You know, kind of put one on, then you can take it off later on. Like shower or something like that. I don't know, something like a... I don't know, something like a, you know... Flower. Like they have something like that here. Maybe. Kind of, you know, trying something on, you know, temporary, like, you know, it's a festival and all. You know what I mean? Nope. He's some, he's a short person. I can't see him out the peephole. Hmm. So short, very short. Have you tried the mail slot? Can you see him through the mail slot? Do you own any money? Not to you. To anyone. To any... Oh, well, sure. Just I, you in there. I don't S- think that's him, though. Slip it out the door. It's anyway. a tall fellow. Slip it out the door. He'll probably leave. I don't really know what I'm doing. Some sort of Hello? Can you hear me? Sure. Can you Hello? hear me? Yes, of course I can hear you. I can't see you. I can hear you through the door. What is your business, please? Are you from the grocers? No, I'm not from the bloody grocers. I've, I've got a singing psychic telegram to give to you if you'll open this blasted door. So I don't want to do with this bloody thing and you're going to be going on so you can't see the same thing. It's something from Gramps, I think. Maybe I should simply sing this telegram, this psychic telegram, through the door. Maybe then you can understand what I'm saying. Telepathic. Cycles. One. 
two, three, cyclist. four. Your Uncle Henry is dead, <laughs> but he left you some gold, and in it's in his bed. You must go to the library, look behind a book, and you'll probably find money in the nook. <laughs> right, that's all I've got to say. Can I have my tip now? I told you, slip the money through the slot. Sure you're not from the grocers? When it all crashes and burns. This show was improvised by Gary Bass, Matthew Cowley, and Dave Waterman, and edited by Sheila Daughtry. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight.